Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Today, I thought it was time to uh, do some farmhouse style items because I've been doing so much with the shabby chic and cottage core. So uh, I'm gonna make this little, or put this little vignette together. Now this is one of those little fold up TV tables and usually they're flimsy, but this one is in really good shape and it was black already. And I want these legs to remain black. So I'm just freshening up the black on these legs. And then the top, I'm not gonna paint that black. So I don't, I don't freshen up that black. It'll, it will do for a good base coat already. But I do like having that black underneath so that when I distress, the distress will be black and it will bring uh, the bottom and top of this table together well. So once I get a good coat on this and I'm happy with the way the legs look, then uh, I'm gonna paint the top and in the color um, cotton. And I thought about maybe buttercream, but, uh, but I think I want a fresh white on this because uh, I'm gonna be putting a, a farmhouse pitcher with it and I want the pitcher to be a good crisp white so cotton was a good choice. Now I've done these um, grain sack stripes in other videos so I'm just going to show you on this one. I'm going to do a couple items in this flip um, with the grain sack on. I'm just going to show you this one a little more in detail and not make you watch both but so I start out putting a strip of um, of masking tape and I just get this at the Dollar Tree and the first strip will be this you'll need to use this the width of tape that you want your stripe to be because you put that middle strip down and then you you put the next two strips right up next to it and then you remove that middle strip and that'll give you a good straight line so the color that I'm using on this one is farmhouse green, and I'm sorry I'm in the way here. I didn't really know how to get this filmed without uh, hiding it at times, but uh, I'm trying to show what I can of it. And this is the color farmhouse green. It's a Dixie Bell color, and again, I, I'm not sponsored, but I do sell these products in my store. So this farmhouse green is a really good fresh green, and uh, I don't know if you guys are hearing, but but these types of greens are really in this year. So I thought it would be a good color to add to this little vignette. So once you get that center stripe done and, um, and you uh, let it dry well, then you're gonna put a little bit thicker tape on it. And it really just depends on how much space you want between your stripes. So I wanted these to be small stripes and I wanted them re relatively close, so I didn't go real thick with that piece, but you could see through this masking tape, so it's, it's easy to see that you've straddled that line and made it even, if that makes sense. It will when you're doing it, uh, but being able to see through this tape really helps. And then you're gonna just put a little space between that green stripe in the middle and your next piece of tape. And that's gonna give you um, a space for your next stripe. And then you're gonna put two stripes down each side of that. And because that tape in the center is larger than your stripe, it's gonna give you a little bit of distance between those, um, b between those stripes. And so you're just, gonna, uh, you're just gonna sponge that on. And I just use little makeup sponges and then when you remove those two pieces of tape, then that will be, you'll see your next two stripes. And you can go thinner or wider on the stripes, any size that you want. I just happen to like mine uh, thin, especially on this, I want it to, to be thin. And you could stop at three stripes here, but I wanted to add another stripe to each side. So I'm just gonna go through that same process once that's dry. And you do need to make sure this is really dry so you don't pull up any paint. And I'm just gonna tape off my next stripes. Uh, I bought a stencil for this because I thought that would save me a lot of trouble, but uh, the stencil, because 
those lines are so long and there's so many of them uh, there's just too much play in it and you can't get a good sharp line so uh, that stencil in my opinion is not worth buying so I ended up throwing it in the trash because it's it takes up way more space than it's worth because I, I just didn't ever plan on using it again this this tape works way better for me and then I felt like, uh, although I like the grain si uh, stripes, uh, this needed something to pull the black uh, and, the t and the green and white together. So I just found this little farmhouse design here, and I'm just going to go right in the center of those lines toward the front of the table and just uh, stencil that in black. And then that's enough to to bring this table together. You can choose any design that you want as long as it's farmhouse related if you're doing this in a farmhouse theme. And then once I finish this table, I do uh, finish it off with some clear wax uh, to seal in that chalk paint. I know you see these little TV tables all the time and you can buy them for next to nothing, but uh, this is a way to dress one up and uh, give it a much better look because I think they're very handy to have, but it helps when they match your decor. And I just love how this little table turned out and these colors I'm really loving together. And I do go back and lightly distress this table, which is the reason that that black underneath uh, was was good that it was there because that gives me a good strong color to distress to and I even do some light distressing on the legs because I feel like black just has a lot more of a country look if it has some distressing on it and then the next item that we're going to work on is this little stool and again this one was black it wasn't a good coverage of black but it was black uh, but on this one, I decided to go with the green on the legs. So I'm using this same farmhouse green and giving this a couple of coats. And I don't know if I mentioned in the on the last piece that I did have to do two coats of white on that top on the tabletop. Uh, but I have to do two coats here. And but I'm just going to paint the bottom of this because I'm going to go with that white on the top of this one also. I love this light green and black and white uh, for a farmhouse color because, like I said, not only is this green in, but uh, I feel like this makes a really good fresh color for spring, but it also would go over into the winter holidays when you're using um, the greens and whites. Uh, it, I think it would just be a, a way to freshen up that green and white. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I just feel like it, it's a good fresh color palette uh, to decorate with for Christmas. And then here I'm doing the same striping on the top. I didn't make you watch all this, but I'm doing the same amount of stripes on this one uh, right in the center of this stool. Because it's round, I felt like this one needed to be in the center. And then I'm using a larger farmhouse stencil here because uh, I felt like this stool needed something larger in the center. So I'm just stenciling the black on here and again I'm using a makeup sponge and um, and putting this larger stencil on here and I just love how this uh, went. This black just really really woke this little chair up and there's my sister helping me hold the stencil down uh, but I thought that turned out really cute and now I'm distressing it down to that black and then I'll do uh, a clear wax on this one also. And then for the next item uh, I'm going to redo this little uh, birdhouse and I've had this little birdhouse in my store. I buy these and they kind of make them look old but they're not old. Uh, but that this color is just kind of drab, and it hasn't sold for a while. 
So I felt like just freshening this up with some better color would help. So I went over the entire piece with black. That way it would have a good distress color. And now I'm painting just the body of this, uh, of this barn in the color cotton. And I just paint over everything because I'm going to go back with some black and paint over that trim. But right now I'm just going to kind of give this all a good base coat. And I do have to do two coats of white on this. And I paint that bottom as well. And then I'm just going to leave this roof uh, black because I feel like that gives it a really good farmhouse look. And now I'm just taking a little artist brush and I'm going over all this, this little trim work. And uh, it, it really isn't that hard because it's all raised. Uh, so I just kind of go over it uh, lightly with the black and you don't have to be perfect here because I'm gonna be doing some, some distressing on this anyway. So once I get all this painted up and the trim is only in the front, so it doesn't take long, uh, then I let it dry well and then I do some distressing on this little barn. And then I give it a coat of clear wax and that's all that there was to that one. And now I have this large galvanized pitcher and I've had the, this in my store for a very long time and galvanized had its time but for my store it isn't now and uh, so i'm just giving this a couple of good coats of the cotton and i thought about putting transfers on it or something but i just love just the simple distressed look of this picture so i just distress it and clear coat it and that's all and generally i would paint that bottom but i didn't here because i decided this is a good large picture for me to display flowers in, so I don't think I'll be selling this one. But once I get this sanded and distressed, then uh, I, I do a clear wax on it, and that's all that I do on that one. And then for the last item, and I'm not in frame good here, but you can see it's just that little chair, and it, it was rough. It had some red showing through and so all i'm doing is freshening up this white and getting all that covered up and there was a little overspray on this seat here so i'm just taking some antiquing wax and just kind of freshening up that seat and i just think keeping this one more simple was better i do take a little farmhouse stencil and put just on that very top back there and uh, I felt like that was enough to uh, kind of update this chair, but keep it simple. And then again, I use the clear wax on this and uh, just to seal in that paint, but I don't really do any distressing on this because uh, it's only gonna go down to that white. So um, I just kept this one uh, just the way it was. I thought about painting over that seat here with the white uh, because it did have some overspray on it, but just adding that uh, antiquing wax kind of distracted from that. It wasn't perfect by any means, but uh, it still worked. And I just love how this little vignette turned out. And I, like I said, I'm just loving these colors. And I'm going to start looking for these little TV tables because I've never made one over before, but I think you could do so many things with this. And then, uh, then it ends up being a great little table to display uh, when I need extra layering in my vignettes. And I wish I could have distressed this little chair because I think everything looks better with some distress on it. But I know if I tried to do a bottom coat on this, it would still try to go down to that white. So I just left it like it was. It's still cute, but like I said, I just would have preferred to have some distress on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.